The Honourable Stuart Mayor. Mr Speaker. I have Mr. Mr. Speaker. Mr Speaker, I remember two years ago sitting in opposition where those, where those uh, MPs are sitting there, and I remember listening to the Deputy Leader of the National Party speak, and they were behind her, they were cheering, they were yahooing. At the moment, we, I listened to that speaker, I listened to the Deputy Leader of the National right. Speaker just talk, not a word. But worse than that, Mr Speaker, there were 33 National MPs here, and I counted 20 of them on their phones. Right. 20 of them were on their phones. They That's weren't right. even listening because they know she's gone. They don't need to lick her behind That's anymore. Right. They're out of there. That's Chris right. Finlayson, the most capable national minister in the last nine years, he was there applying for a job or writing his book. There's just no energy anymore. The life has been sucked out of the National Party and it's fantastic and it's over here. That's right. Mr Speaker, I've got to congratulate Grant Robinson. 3.9% unemployment. Yeah. That is absolutely fantastic. In fact, the last, as the deputy prime minister, as the deputy prime minister alluded to, the last time that happened was when Labor and New Zealand First was in government, and we're back, and it's on the right track again. Wages up by 3.3%. Fantastic. It's all going. It's all going really well. And those over there who said it couldn't happen, it wouldn't happen. They're wrong. Not only are we making it happen, we're driving it forward in a way that is making a difference for all Kiwis. And the thing is, is I know they don't like it, but the fact that we're not only getting along as coalition partners, we're all mates anyway. It's all good fun. We're getting along really, really well. I'm sorry about that, but that is the reality they don't like. Mr Speaker, let me talk about police. Let me talk about police. We came in with a promise. We came in with a promise, a New Zealand First Labour Coalition promise to deliver 1,800 more police. And the reason we did this is because Ron Mark and I had gone really hard in opposition because we knew between 2012 and 2017, police numbers actually dropped. Over those five years, had dropped by 70. In the meantime, P had gone through the roof. Gangs got organised and out of control, and we were in real trouble. Burglary rates were through the roof and resolution, resolution rates were down. Well, Mr part. Speaker, I can inform you, since we have been in government, 852 new officers are out in Excellent. our communities preventing our crime and Excellent. keeping us safe. 852. And I have been to every single graduation except one, and I can inform the House that the graduates who have chosen the New Zealand Police Service for a career are phenomenal. That's right. They are absolutely phenomenal. And I must get you out there, Mr King. I must get you out to Police College one day so you can have a look. We made the promise. We made a promise to the people of New Zealand. When we said 1,800 police over three years, one thing we did say is we would not drop the standard of recruits. That was our promise. And what I'm seeing now is no drop in standard, in fact, an increase in standard. It is going brilliantly. One of the other things I would like to say is since we got into power, the prison number has dropped by about 850. And Good what we word. heard, what we heard is if prison numbers drop, crime's going to go through the roof, people aren't going to be safe. Well, I can tell you, prison numbers down by 850. Do you know how much the number, do you know the number of victimizations that are down since we've been there? Tell us. Over 10 thousand less victimizations oh, okay. in the year that we have been in government. Over 10,000 less victimizations. Ten, fewer than 10,000 victimizations. Now that, that is progress. That is developing a police service with the resources and the capacity and the competencies to keep our community safe. Not out there fighting fires the whole time but keeping our community safe. And I thank New Zealand First for their commitment in this. Yeah, yeah. It has been absolutely brilliant because we are delivering and making a difference for our communities right up and down New Zealand. Mr Speaker, there's just one area I'd like to talk on and something that I'm very proud of. In the tax area, we passed a bill. It's called Base Erosion Profit Shifting. It gets quite complex, but what it's actually about is ensuring that, every, that all the multinationals who operate out of this country pay their fair share. Yeah. One thing that we know, yeah. one thing that we know that really gets under the core of New Zealanders is when people rip off the system. Yep. One thing that we really know is that when multinationals don't pay their fair share, yep. when everyone else is, it is fundamentally wrong. We've changed that. Base erosion profit shifting means that everyone is paying their fair share tax. Well, we could also talk about the R&D tax credits. 
That is going to drive growth in a way. That is going to drive growth in a way. We need 15 minutes, not five. That's going to drive growth in a way that we haven't seen for a long time. Mr. Speaker, it is an absolute privilege and a pleasure order, order to be a minister in this government. Speaker. Yeah. Honourable Mark, Honourable Mark Mitchell. Mr. Speaker, thank you very much. Uh, pleasure to take a call in the House in the general debate.